really incredible. We see some like Brianne and this is my husband there. Oh, Philippines! Hi guys, welcome back. We're on Tall Dridges and this is our Filipino series. We are in Malbao town. As you can see, it's the evening time but we've been spending pretty much all day trying to get a video up. The internet is pretty slow. We're gonna spend the next couple of days just exploring the area. We've got a few things planned. There's a lot to do here. But we plan to get out of the evening cause the sunsets are meant to be here, amazing. So we're just gonna to head to the beach, see what's down there. Cause we haven't eaten all day as usual and get some dinner. So come with us. This is the sort of place I want to eat later. There's loads of these like barbecue places and you've got the rotisserie chicken and stuff. Oh mate, I love all that sort of food. If you don't know, Ben loves his meat. Yeah. Sorry, this road is just so busy for such a small town. Yeah. There's literally so many mopeds. Well, this is really, really local. Although this is like obviously quite a touristy area, really local. Like there's going to be a lot to do because obviously you've got like the tourist attractions, but in and amongst this lot, love it. This is, this is what I come here for. And we've just like stumbled into a market, I think. So let's have a look. Right, this is like the public market. I think it closes in about an hour, so uh, it's getting there quick. I think half of them look like they've already closed. Well, we've got some water activity and nothing for our GoPro or phones to go in the water, so we really need something. A waterproof case of some description. Anything, phone or GoPro, anything. Yeah, and we've only got till tomorrow morning, so this is it. I think we'll get something in one of these little shops. Yeah. This market is definitely closing up. This is a problem when you get out in the evening, but it's so much cooler. We walked to the shop earlier on and it was just too hot. Here you go, what about these, one of these little shops? Yeah. So you've got loads of fruit and veg, wow. What about in here? Hello. Hello. Um, do you have a good phone at the walk group? Yes, sir. No? no. You know who has? Yes, I know. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, Ben. Oh no, that's lanyards, isn't it? Hello. Do you have a uh, waterproof on the phone? Yes. One eight. Seventy-five each. Seventy-five each. Yeah, we have two. Yeah. Oh, pink. I love pink. <laughs> Which one do you want? Uh, I'll have green. Green? Yeah. I'll go for you. And to you? Yeah. 150. Sorry. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye. Just keep asking, and in the end, we got one. Yeah, everyone will keep pointing us in different directions, and eventually, we will actually one. get one. Yeah. 75 each, we've got one each, so tomorrow we can take our phones underwater, so yeah. I'm so happy now. Persistence pays off. I oh, know. But now we're going to head down the beach, but look at this sunset already. So we found this really nice spot here, just looking out of the water, and there's like a film going on, Spider-Man in the background. How nice and beautiful is this? So the name Mobile, I was like really like intrigued. I thought, that's such a weird name. Where did it come from? So I've done a bit of research like you do. Yeah, it turns out, yeah. When Spain colonized the Philippines, one of the Spaniards asked the local, he said, what's the name of this town, sir? He, he turned, he said, it's Bocal Bocal. Well, the Spaniard was hard of hearing. So he heard Molbol. Turns out it caught on and now the town's named Molbol all these years later. You always get your fun facts from Benny. <laughs> Count on Benny. The thing is, right, the reason you get your fun facts from me is because I'm quite, like, obsessed with, like, researching things. That's why you might realise, like, some things I say are quite rehearsed. It's not from the here, it's from here. Hardest choice of the evening, trying to find somewhere to eat. Where to go? 150 on. 150? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we gave too much. Do we? 250, yeah, yeah. 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 It's what I've been most excited about. I keep seeing them and just like, gotta try it. Thank you. 125 pesos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. No, no. no we're not going. <laughs> the sauce. Ah, the sauce. Secret sauce. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy now. 
you want to do this chicken? I'll go my donuts, he's got his chicken. Anti-vegan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Home sweet home. Now we're back. I'm going to show you what we got. So we went went to a couple of different places, but the first place we went, we got a chopped cisco, which is I think that's how you say it, but it's basically fried chicken, rice, and an egg. As you already saw, we've got the rotisserie chicken, chopped it all up, and this is that. Um, our meals were 250, and the chicken was 185, so all pretty reasonable. Rihanna had to stop and get some donuts as well, and I had to stop and get my beer, which is 83 in the 7-Eleven. Okay, so there's no point of us trying the food, it's pretty basic what's there, you know what all of that tastes like. Um, but I will show you the desserts I've got. I've got a ring donut, I won't try that, it's just a ring donut. I've also got a like, chocolate cookie. Mm, yeah, chocolate cookie with like caramelised sugar on the outside. Mm, it's got a good crunch. And then this one, this is quite different, it's like... I don't know if you can see it, it's like a purple sponge cake on each side and then you've got like a filling in there. See what this is like, very different. Mmm, that's fun guys. It's like a cupcake put into another shape. But all three desserts were only like 14 pesos. I wish I got more now. We're gonna eat our dinner, we've got an early start tomorrow. We're getting picked up at 7.40 and if you know me, I hate early mornings. Early night tonight, so we're gonna eat this and we'll see you bright and early. Good night. Right, we're just waiting for our drive to pick us up. David, he's going to take us to see the schools of sardines. If you know Mobile at all, it's really famous for its groups of sardines that gather around the shores. Um, we're excited to see it. It's supposed to be like, fascinating. And that means a nice early start. We've been up since 7 o'clock, so not that early to be honest, but I don't do mornings. But Ben's just getting these trainers on and we're going to get going. Look at all them trainers. Yeah, <laughs> they are disgusting. But he's on, he, he's Constantly on the WhatsApp, right, 10 minutes I'm gonna be here. So he's been outside waiting for us. So we got our... Get our shoes on, Ben. Yeah. Morning, Rob. Morning. Ben? David. David, David. Yeah, Ben. Oh, ben. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, nah, we're fine. But we have actually life break. We walked through places for fun and they started to break. Luckily, you can um, rent waterproof cases for your GoPro, so we now have one of them. The what we've been looking for everywhere. And literally, you come in and it's like a proper touristy area and they've got everything. There. We've rented it for 100 pesos. So we got picked up on the back of scooters, which Ben loved, I was a bit yeah, scared. <laughs> but it was fun actually. Uh, he's just gone to get his stuff and then I think we'll be plumbing on one of them. Room for a little one. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. What a great guy. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Probably a nice guy. Okay, it is a few hours later. We kind of 
got dropped back at our place and kind of just we chilled yeah we wanted to look at the footage and edit it a bit and play with it and oh my god that was an unreal experience so i highly so recommend it yeah. it was so good it was only about an hour would you say uh, in the water it was about an hour yeah, yeah yeah you don't want too long it is really knackering like obviously you're in the sea and they must get a like, bit too yeah. much after a while, don't they? Yeah, I'll keep getting water because I'm mining <laughs> up the nose in it. Ben's like a child, as yeah, we all know. But it was absolutely amazing. Like, uh, I'd recommend getting a guide so you can find the proper location. Yeah. He finds you the turtles and gets you the good footage and shows you where the sardines are. Um, we'll leave his name and that down in the description, but if you want his number, just contact us and we'll send you it because we don't want to put someone's personal number in our description. So we got this number from another YouTuber who we speak to on Instagram, Adam and Yas. So thank you for that, guys. Um, it was brilliant. I did want to say we went there quite early, but I'd recommend definitely booking that tour earlier because it got really busy. Yeah. We went at 8am. Uh, recommend going there at 7am because tourists flood in. Yeah, And also did. he said the um, sardines they sort of congregate after about seven o'clock but now we're heading down to the white beach hopefully to see the sunset but it is quite cloudy so we don't know what we'll see but we'll get some dinner and that down there and you got to see the white beach it's meant to be really nice so let's try and get a tuk tuk now white beach how much white beach yeah, yeah. 200 mum. How much? 200. 200. 200. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. fine. Okay, Front or back? Where then? You got fun. That one. Oh, okay. Yeah. You see your father? <laughs> yeah, your father. Brother. Brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? England. Yeah. Very better. Yeah. Well, it's the first time being on one of them, a different style tuk tuk again. I thought it was right. It was yeah, it was. Fun. It was quite far actually as well, and that cost us 200. And we had to pay 50 pesos, so 25 each, to enter the White Beach as well. It's like a pullover thing. I didn't have my camera yeah. out, so I couldn't film. But we're here, and I swear I felt a bit of rain when we were in the tuk tuk. But yeah, the weather's turning definitely. Oh no, hopefully it blows the other way because it looks a little bit clearer that way. But let's go and have a look at this White Beach. beautiful it's very clean clear blue water and as it's called white beach nice white sand it's very white the problem is the weather's turned it's starting to rain and down that end it's like party party everyone's like everyone's dancing don't care if it's raining down this end a bit quieter but it's raining there's nowhere to go so we don't what, really know what to do now what do we do? <laughs> yeah. starting to come down proper heavy now oh the one time we actually decided to go out and see the sunset on a beach. It's raining and cloud. Oh, just a lot. <laughs> it is quite fun down here in the evening. I'd definitely recommend to come down here if you want a drink and a bit of a party. There's volleyball going on. There's games in the like, little huts. It's quite bars. a buzzing atmosphere, actually. Yeah, it's quite nice, actually. It's, it's really nice. We're getting a bit wet. Right. I know. It looks like it's trying to break through, but it's really nice. It's not too hectic either, is it? We're old, no. you got to remember. Ben's looking at the bar, seeing how much beers are. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to see this. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, we found a little bit of shelter. We're trying to decide where to go. We don't know if to go and find somewhere to eat. It's still a bit early though. It's five o'clock, so. And we can't really move because this rain's like torrential. And we've got no signals, so we don't really know where to go. And it's quite a long. We can't walk. We can't walk back. It's about an hour and a half walk, so. We're a bit stuck at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you know how we get on. Oh, Jordi. 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 Jordi.
Two fifty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hello. Hello. I don't think I've ever felt so guilty in my whole entire life. He was getting absolutely dropping. drenched. I know, but we made sure we tipped him because I felt so bad. He was getting soaked. It was going in his face. Oh, I've never felt so bad oh, in my life. Job. But he was cushy. He was really nice. We were like, "Are you alright?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> But now, I think Ben's found us a good dinner spot. So where is it, Benny? So we've come to Street Hub Beer Pub, and it is, as it says, a pub. <laughs> but it does do food as well. So I did manage to get myself a beer, and we ain't got us have a Coke Zero, but we have ordered some food as well, and it's super, super cheap. So I'll show you what we've got when it comes out. We're looking forward to this. We haven't like sat down and ate properly in a while, so it's quite nice. We always don't get it to take away or kind of street food. So this is quite nice. I feel like I'm on holiday though. <laughs> Prices compared to street food is not that different. And um, what are them, please? Is that it, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, keep the change. Thank you. Thank you. My favourite bakery. We went there yesterday and I had to get some more, but that cake is warm. <gasps> Got like a cake for you. I don't know what it is. Lucky. Okay, we've made it back to our place. We couldn't get no light to pretty much like talk you for our dinner or finish it, but um, dinner was. Probably one of the best I've had in Philippines. It was, yeah, it was so good, honestly. Honestly, I had the chicken sizzik and I've had a sizzik before. This one, because it come out on like a sizzling plate. Ah, mm. oh, so good. I ordered it with the egg as well. It's perfect and it's like seasoned. So it good. was really so good. good. And if you know us, we like egg with every single meal. It was so good. And we got a side of cucumber and it was just literally like cucumber, it was cucumber salad, but it had like a vinaigrette on it. It was mm. so good, um, but it was really nice. And we got a side of fries, Ben got a beer and I got a Coke and it comes to like 650. Um, a little bit, no, about how much we spend mainly on dinner. So a good price actually for how much we had. For a sit down meal with the beer and obviously the sides as well. Really good price. Good price. So I'd recommend that. It's um, across the road from Jollibee's. It's called Street Hub Beer Pub. Ah, that's like, it. Over the road from Jollibee's. We'll leave it in the description and we always put a map and direction. So I'd highly recommend going there. It's one of our best meals we've had. But we're back at our place. Um, we need to pack up because we're leaving tomorrow and the room is a bit of a mess. So we're going to do that. But otherwise, we're going to end it there and we're moving to another bar of CB tomorrow. So travel yes. day. So subscribe. You're not going to do it. <laughs> the hardest choice of the evening. Ow, I've got some oh, it's Right, we're gonna eat our dinner. We've got an early night, so we're gonna. No. We've rented it for hot. We've rented it. 